This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. In his play Fences, the playwright August Wilson presents audiences with a family at the cusp between complete segregation and the civil rights movement and between demoralization and stability. The family of garbage worker Troy Maxson is attempting to advance from the hopeless poverty of his childhood and Rose's confused family relationships. This family is trying to make their way in a world still largely set against African Americans. They are trying to create a stable family in the face of a history of deliberate destruction of the families of enslaved people. They do not always succeed, although, by play's end, there is a promise for success in the next generation. One continuing symbol of their efforts to achieve some measure of status in their community is the fence that Troy intends to build at the start of the play. The fence can affirm Troy's ownership and the stability of the family. The fence is a barrier against the intrusion and oppression of racism and serves to exclude the rebellious son as well. The fence appears in the gospel song that Rose sings to herself as a symbol of the spiritual protection that she seeks and hopes to acquire. Fences, both in the title and in the dialogue of the play, serve to retain respectability and what passes for normality in a heavily segregated society and to keep out the forces that threaten their respectability, the oppression of racism, lust, filial disrespect, and other evils. Alan Nadell, in his essay entitled Boundaries, Logistics, and Identity, The Property of Metaphor in Fences and Joe Turner's Come and Gone, points out that the notion of a fence is tied up with the idea of property and giving propriety. As Nadell reminds the reader, in the Western world, there is a long tradition that building a fence around something confers ownership. Troy is perhaps trying to build a fence, weekend by weekend, at Rose's urging to assert his ownership over his home and family that he, and especially Rose, values so dearly. We know that Rose cherishes her family because Rose expresses her ambition that, I never wanted any half-nothing in my family. She wants to keep this wholeness, this propriety, and to accomplish this, she has striven to be everything a wife could be. As Bono puts it, Rose wants to hold on to you. Thus, the fence demarcates the property that Troy has acquired, albeit with the help of his brother Gabriel's disability payment, and the family that Rose has created with Troy. This fence is also intended in some way to keep at bay the intrusion of the racism that he deplores at his job. Nadell asserts that this fence is part of Troy's struggle to internalize the Mason-Dixon line. Outside the fence, Troy chafes at being assigned the less desirable jobs solely based on his race, although he does not have a driver's license. He protests how unfair it is that he could not play baseball in the white leagues, saying, if you could play, they ought to have let you play. Inside the fence, however, he can be the breadwinner, husband, and father. He even has authority inside the fence, including kicking his, in his opinion, disrespectful son and belongings out, saying, they'll be on the other side of that fence. For Troy, the fence is a way of reclaiming ground in the same way that Wilson himself hopes that African American theater will reclaim the ground lost in centuries of oppression. Fences have a religious and spiritual symbolism in the play fences, for example, as expressed by Rose. Wilson has Rose sing a gospel song to herself, providing what the playwright, as quoted by Murphy, calls an emotional reference for the information. The hymn asks, Jesus, be a fence all around me every day. Jesus, I want you to protect me as I travel my way. She sings this after she and Troy have shared what is presumably a steamy Friday night together. Troy, after a trying week, has declared, I'm going to drink just enough so I can handle it. He has also announced that he will be still stroking Rose come Monday morning. Rose's him pleads for protection against sin and temptation, so it may seem an odd choice after all this enthusiastic marital activity. However, as David Arnold asserts, Wilson often uses music to signify the presence of something numinous or spiritual. As a committed Christian, Rose could be concerned that her love for her husband could distract her from loving God. 
Additionally, perhaps the very happiness that she feels right then seems to require supernatural protection from external threats. Rose's defensive impulse could be a foreshadowing of the destructive intrusion of extramarital lust and adultery into her marriage. There is a rich heritage of symbolism associated with fences, walls, and gates that Wilson is tapping in the title and the body of the play. They play many roles. As Bono says, some people build fences to keep people out, and other people build fences to keep people in. The fence in this play is a symbol of Troy's manhood as a husband and father in a racist nation, an effort to keep their family and property together, and a symbolic appeal to God to keep out sin and evils. How successful these efforts are depends on how Lyons, Corey, and Raynell all manage in the new era that follows Troy and Rose's lifetime. If you want to find more works like this essay on the meaning of fences and Wilson's play Fences, head over to ivypanda.com. It has a collection of samples with thousands of submissions covering virtually all academic subjects.